Hi everyone, welcome to Surgery Dada. So today we have a case of pilonidal sinus. So if you see along the natal cleft, we have multiple discharging sinus. Yes, can you see? This is the pus coming out of this. So yes, there is one opening here. There is one opening here, one here. So basically it's a fistulous connection between a lot of you can say openings. So what we plan for this, usually I do a excision of the tract with ablation but here we are going to combine the laser also so we are going to use a radial fiber and burn out these tracts so that they get obliterated now the advantage of using a laser in this case is the healing time is drastically reduced because if we excise it and if we fulgurate it yes the results are really very good i have been practicing it for more than a decade now but the healing is a big issue because we have to uh, we have to create a flap and many a times there is a risk that the flap might get contaminated and there might be a recurrence of abscess. So that is the why, that is the reason we we'll keep it open. We allow it to heal by the tertiary intention, uh, the secondary intention. But in this case, we are not going to do that. We are going to use lasers to burn out the tract. We shall delineate the tract and for that, we will put a cannula. So we will put the cannula inside to delineate the tract and we, we shall put push some contrast it's okay that's fine I'm pushing it nice. and can you see the contrast coming out okay so this is one we shall leave it here here also it has come yeah, one more can you yeah. it has come out. if you see the contrast is here also we need to introduce this brush why this is the same brush that we use for fistulas so that we can just curate peroxide I need peroxide also. So we are doing the curettage. Already the curettage has been done at multiple ends. Oh, peroxide. Give me peroxide. So now we will push some peroxide into this. You can see the peroxide is going freely, it's coming freely out. We'll again clean. Do the same from this end also. Okay, so do more. That's it. Again. using a radial fiber laser so how we know that's a radial can you see the 360 degree shadow that we are getting and now what is the principle of using a laser in this case we'll put the laser we'll press the pedal and we'll keep on withdrawing it at a rate of one second per you can say one centimeter per second this is how we are going to update the track just pedal mm -hmm. Chalo, okay. stand by at all Let's focus it on this the machine is ready. You can see the 10 uh, watt setting and now we'll start. Huh? Okay. Again, again. Okay, so we have done this. Now ice, some ice. Okay, so now we'll do for this one. Let it cool, me. Okay, okay. Yeah, pedal press, karo. Okay. 
Okay. Let us do it again. See if required again. Hmm. Just a bit. Press. Look the press. Okay, now on this one, look, there's a hello. <clears throat> Acha tell me. Dekho. अभी ना ज्यादा काट नहीं रहे चलो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन द सर्जरी एंड वी हैव एबलेटेड एबलेटेड दिस चैनल दिस ट्रैक्ट दिस ट्रैक्ट दिस ट्रैक्ट दिस ट्रैक्ट एंड आल्सो वी हैव क्रिएट वन इंसीशन मार्क हियर बिकॉज़ द डाई वाज एंटरिंग इनटू दिस प्लेन सो वी हैव एबलेटेड एबलेट यू कैन से एबलेटेड इट यूजिंग द लेजर सो दिस इज अ डायोड लेजर and 1470 mm is the wavelength of this the advantage of doing a laser pilo needle sinus is that you can discharge the patient same day the second is he can go to work the very next day because you know when we do an excision traditional excision it takes maybe months for the patients to heal and then it's lot you can say tedious so thank you for watching this video